हेलो यस सर Did you get it? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Is Samson there? I think he is there, right? No. Yes, he is there. I I will ask him to come. Yes, admitted. you don't have to put a formal presentation what i would like to do is uh, just look at uh, uh, your er diagram and also like um, uh, your directly go to uh, the details okay sir yeah <coughs> the concept of schema reclaim relational model and any relation uh, relational schema sir student table contact student id name address phone number age gender Date of birth, course ID. Lexus table one assist. Uh, Lexus ID name, address, phone number, age, gender, date of birth, and department ID. And course table one assist name, course code, course ID, department ID, faculty ID, uh, lecturer ID, student ID. Uh, department department ID name and faculty ID. Faculty one assist faculty ID and name. Uh, The underlining underlined the some uh, IDs are the uh, primary keys. Uh, okay. Bold ones are uh, foreign keys. Uh, for an example, student table, student ID is the primary key. Uh, course ID is the foreign key. Uh, likewise, uh, lecture table and course table and department and faculty. Okay, I think other person can explain the uh, the relation model. Yes, sir. uh this is the relational model for the, for our planned uh, proposed uh, system uh here we drawn the uh, what are the um, fields and the tables which we planned earlier uh, for the relational model in this relational model, we mapped uh, uh, whether it is one to one relationship or one to many relationship uh, those kind of stuff are uh, uh, marked in this uh, relational model Here we can see a student can follow uh, multiple courses, and multiple co uh, uh, course can be followed by multiple students. This kind of uh, uh, steps are denoted by this uh, crowfoot notation in relational model. Uh, this use of this uh, model uh, is to create easily. Uh, we uh, we uh, while having this map, we can easily create our um, script. Uh, that's why we are using this uh, relational model. Um, did I want to explain each and every case? Oh, no, no, no. You don't have to do. Uh, if you have converted this okay. into, uh, can you go to ER diagram as well? I would like to quickly look at that one as well. Ah, uh, here we uh, we are having the entity relational model ER diagram. Uh, this also a kind of tool which is. Uh, equal to the relational model but it's more uh, interactive uh, to take a idea uh, here all the um, um, attributes for the tables are marked in this circle and the uh, rectangles are shown as a um, tables and the red one is denoted as a relationships among the two tables we can't join the two tables uh, each another without having the relationship this relationship indicates the one to one may cardinality one to one one to one or one to many or many to many um, here we can use uh, multiple types of attributes also um, Uh, multi-value attribute, derived attributes, but in this stuff uh, we didn't use those uh, derived and multi-value attributes. Uh, primary keys uh, we marked it as uh, underline. Yes, I can't find any underline. Not marked. Not marked, right? Yes. Can you go there? Ah, uh, no, not marked. Yeah, no. if we need to mark that one. Yeah. Uh, after having this ER model. we can go through for the um, 
execution part okay. uh, in this execution uh, in this execution uh, we write the uh, sql script to execute the uh, tables here we created uh, each and every table uh, this uh, each and every screenshot indicates uh, each and every um, tables course table department table and faculty table this, these are for creating tables Okay. Uh, we used the uh, MySQL to create this uh, script. Okay, good, good. I think uh, that's, the, enough. that's enough for the progress. Uh, I have a couple of questions like, now, for example, here, most of the places we are using Vacha, for example, course ID, department ID. Uh, is there a specific yes. reason why you use, use Vacha here? uh we can use integer also but if we use an alphabetical letter for example our registration number it1915 it can't be stored in an integer it needs to be in a bar chart uh, likewise if if we plan to assign a course id or the department id with the alphabetical letter that's why we need bar chart Okay, uh, can you go back? To, uh, yeah, no. can you go back to SQL script again? Um, uh, slide number eight. Can you go back? To slide. slide number eight. Okay. Yes. Slide number eight. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, for example, uh, when you have foreign keys, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what might happen? Uh, what uh, is for the effect of entities? Code? Now, now foreign key constraints. Uh, sorry, sir, I can hear you. Yeah, foreign key constraints. Uh, foreign key. Uh, here on the slide uh, 10. Can you, Madi, can you please? Fix it. Oh. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, slide 10. Slide 10. Slide 10. Ah, okay, okay. Now I can see. So you Fix. have keys about uh, here. Yeah. You are adding keys, right? Yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Foreign keys. Foreign keys. Uh, These are the next one. Yes, Ma Madi, next one. Madi, 11th uh, okay. slide, please. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes, uh, foreign keys. Right? Yeah, yeah. In so, those uh, slide number 10, we, we mark the indexes. And then uh, in the 11th slide, uh, we uh, assign those foreign indexed uh, values as a foreign key here. Yeah. With the now, reference. What if, what if if you delete some, uh, you know, row in a foreign key, should it be updated or should it be deleted? Uh, uh, yeah, it should be, I assigned here restriction for the foreign key. Yeah. If the foreign key is assigned in other table, yeah. uh, we can't uh, delete that. I uh, I set the privilege as restriction. Therefore, we need to no, no, delete no, no. the data yeah, I, from the... Okay, I understand. Or I, I understand your point. Now, is it in, uh, is it in your script hmm. or is it in somewhere else? Uh, it, uh, this is not in that uh, script. Uh, while we are creating the in MySQL, there will be an option while we are implementing ah, okay. the relationship. Yeah, I understand. It's asking the to set the, set the privilege. Okay, so I think you better think about yeah. putting into a script as well because uh, in the script I expect that part as well. All ah, right. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay, that's all I think. Yeah, you are fine. And, and after that, that and after that, the exec uh, executed uh, tables also shown as an event ah, here okay. on the slide. 12. Yeah, that's okay. that's okay. No problem. No problem. I just want to know only the, the basic ones. I think you have presented well. Uh, so we we'll switch to the next group then. Thanks. Uh, yeah. you, you may leave the meeting. That's all for today for you. Uh, sir, we okay. have a lecture so after the no 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 lectures today so this is only okay sir. uh yes focus okay sir thank okay you. sir thank you thank you, thank thank you. you sir thank you thank
Hello, uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can uh, hear you. There's another person missing, right? You have 1912. 19, yeah, 1912. Yeah. 1970. Yeah, what is the other person's name? Danesh Kumar. Danesh Kumar. Yes. Is he in the waiting room? No, right? No, no, sir. I think he just married, got married, married. Ah, Last he got, week, uh, he got married. married. <laughs> so, so busy. Yeah, yeah. Busy with uh, family busy life. With, but yeah, I think so. What is his uh, registration number? Uh, one uh, uh, thirty-three, sir. Thirty-three. Yeah, thirty-three. Okay. Yeah. So this is actually a small progress meeting where I would like okay. to see your project very briefly. Uh, and also I would like to see your ER diagram, relational model, okay. uh, and also okay. SQL script if possible. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. So shall we share the screen, sir? Yes, yes, you can share. Okay. Sir, can you see this? Yeah, I can see you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, actually, sir, we are from group three. Our group members are Mr. Mirushan and myself and Mr. Danish Kumar. Our, um, our assignment work is development of campus management system. Uh, actually, as an introduction, I could say uh, this management system will uh, help the university uh, to manage all their students. Uh, may, may I interrupt you? Uh, yes, you sir. don't need to go into details. Okay. I think you uh, can uh, present this information while you're presenting ER relation right. and SQL script because uh, we have a limited okay. time. So, sir, can you start with the, 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 describe the ER diagram? Sir? Yes, yes, that's better, I think. We have limited time. Okay. Yeah. So, musician, I will. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can, I can continue. Oh, it shows. This is you explain. Okay, sir. Okay, can I start? Yes, yes. What's your registration yeah. number? IT 1917. Uh, ah, okay. You are presenting ER diagram. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is our ER diagram. It shows the relationship be between the entities. That's the main entities in in our system is lecturers. Lecturers have the name like uh, you see in the ER diagram. It's the first name, last name. Lecturer ID is the primary key for the lecturer, and address and gender. Uh, and the students also like that. Students primary key is a student ID for the course uh, entity. Course number is the primary key for the admin staff entity. Admin AS ID is the primary key for the department. Department number is the primary key and the department head also department head ID is the primary key and payment also payment ID is the primary key. Here's the functionalities and the relationship between the entities. Uh, lecturers teach students. One lecturer teach many students. Meanwhile, one student is uh, get, uh, teached by many lecturers. So there's a cardinality is many to many. In here also, students follow courses. One student follow many courses and one course is followed by many students. Uh, here is the payment concept. One student can make many payments. Uh, that's a descriptive attribute is date. Uh, that's a payment is handled. Payment method is handled by the staff. One staff get many payment. For also here department is managed by department head. Extractly one head manage extractly one department. One department is managed by extractly one department head. This is our ER basic ER diagram for our uh, campus management systems. Yes. And also, sir, uh, we could show the SQL script. SQL aspect. script as Yes, please go ahead. I, I would like to see that one. Who's going to explain yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, I will ex can I explain, uh, sir? Oh, why don't you give it to chance to the, the other person? Ah, because okay, 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 yeah, yeah, okay, sir, fine, fine. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, here uh, we create the da database named as CMSDB, and we are the second line is for using the database, and we are creating the table called data uh, department TBL. Uh, here the primary key is uh, D number. Uh, that's Vacha is the data type. It's size four, 
and the name the locations those are the uh, attributes of department table and uh, after that we are creating the department head table uh, these are the um, uh, attributes that is department head id first name last name address telephone number department number finally we uh, link uh, this table with uh, department table using d number uh, here as a foreign key uh, that's why we use the foreign key d number references department table d number then uh, the lecturer table a lecturer table also as mr shan said it has uh, lecturer id for, your, for first name last name address telephone number gender department number and we uh, link this table uh, using department number with department table and student table student table has student id first name last name address telephone number gender and date of birth then uh, uh, admin staff table here admin staff id full first name last name address telephone number and gender here admin staff id is a primary key and course table course name table has course number course name course um, it uh, uh, course fee and the points for course for points here course number is a primary key then payment table payment table has payment id pay amount pay type uh, pay type here we declare that whether the student make the payment using a direct direct uh, bank deposit or card or checks like that and a payment date uh, and um, this admin staff id uh here we uh, uh, join the table with admin staff table using admin staff id and student table with student id then following course table here student id course number those are primary keys and foreign keys are uh, student id and course number we are referring with student table and course table respectively finally uh, teach table teach table has lecture id course number both are primary key and we are linking this table with lecture table using lecture id and course table with course number those are our uh, tables sir okay thanks then i have couple of questions can you quickly go back to your uh, er diagram yes sir yes sir okay so this one um, uh so you know that the maximum and minimum participation the right now when you say one to one yeah. one to many and many to many you are referring the maximum partition uh, yeah. participation so is there a way that you can uh, you know do the same for minimum participation as well yeah What it's possible the minimum yeah it's possible uh, sir it's uh, we have mentioned is for the department belongs to the lecturer is zero many like which is asterisk mark ah okay so whatever i think you, you better represent that information as well that then be complete and then okay. uh, when you take uh, admin staff i don't okay. see any uh, it's a primary key is there yeah it's the, there the six primary key is uh, admin asid right asid yeah okay so whenever you know you have these relationships um, yeah. uh, you know like uh, so whatever the attributes that you can actually put it there so how are you going to map now for example here we have a make yeah. relationship and the date and it's a one to many how do you like yeah, one to many. relationship uh, in uh, your sql yeah system? we already mapped the these things as well sir doctor as well doctor uh that's a student's id goes to the payment part because the student side is a one payment is side is a many so student one id goes to the many many oh. part, many side so and date also go to the payment part chris can you show that particular table creation yes, uh, student and payment team. payment creation payment table yes yes this one yeah this yes. one yeah le we link no already mapped and do the things so okay okay one more question like in in sql script now when you take this sql script when you have the okay. foreign key uh, relations now we have foreign key uh, here in the table department head yeah department head table what will happen yeah. to delete uh, you know 
uh, a record what should happen in the department table yeah we can't uh, if if it linked with that particular department head we can't delete that particular table particular record from the department table because we uh, the department head is refer that particular record no so we can't uh, delete that particular record no i mean there are several options you can have you can make it restrict now you are what yeah. you're saying here is you are trying to restrict the deletion but yeah. that has to be specified somewhere right mm -hmm. so how do you specify is it in in the script or somewhere else you are going to specify now how do you say that okay don't delete when there's a change in the foreign key it's, i think it's automatically the sql exactly. servers it's uh, instructed in the, yes, exactly in, my in point the, yeah exactly. in that uh, is my point so you have to find the uh, equivalent sql statement i think you better yeah. you know uh, specify that in the sql script otherwise it will not be complete yeah 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 Probably yeah yeah we include that sir yeah thank so, you uh, and and yeah. and i think uh, other things what we have presented these uh, yeah all the details one mm. more thing why you have chosen like vacha for all the ids like you say uh, department head id it's vacha and five why yeah because we i we plan to for the department table d001 no like that with the alphabet and with the number so we think uh, vacha is better for that vacha is better uh, uh, yeah say, i think uh, for we I just yeah. want to know. We I mean, need to. Yeah. Sorry, sir. Pardon. I just want to know, like, why you have uh, decided on that one. Ah, uh -huh. okay, okay. Yes, sir. For department number, if it, the the length is fixed, then we can go for chart. Right? Yeah. But uh, the various uh, length. Uh, no, this is my my point. Now, this is my point. When you say wa cha okay. and cha, remember we had the discussion. If you really know that Hello. you use exactly five characters, then uh, you we can hear you. Vacha. Yeah. Otherwise, it's vacha. So my my question was, when you say ID, is it a variable length one, or is it a fixed one? So the vacha means we can store maximum up to four. If yes. I, if it is a cha, it's a fixed fixed one, no? Yeah, yeah, I understand. So why in your case, you are using vacha? Yeah. Was my original question. Yeah, your line is not ah uh, not very clear clear ah okay 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 no problem yeah. just think about it that's all i think uh i think uh, you can leave the the meeting uh, and and that's all for today so i'll be uh, yeah. you know uh, uh, going with the other presentation so that's all for today for you guys ah uh, one 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 more question sir yeah can i ask yes yeah one more question it's a developing it's a part of the system can you repeat again question sir so what your expectation sir do we need to develop, develop the whole, whole system, system for university no, or no 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 you don't have to uh, specify the whole system but at least okay. you have to implement part of it completely Okay. Ah so, ha. Uh -huh. At least, yeah, that means at least one add update then delete yeah, option update, is uh, delete, have to know. Yes, yes, yes. When you delete one record uh, it, in one table, what might happen? Ah, okay, okay. In other table, you have to show the function. Ah uh ha. -huh. The time is not enough. Uh, okay, I okay. understand. You can't complete yeah. this. That I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then some have... reports also needed, no? Yes, exactly. Whatever yeah, okay, the okay. things, uh, the function, the main function that you have recognized in the beginning. you need to show me okay okay sir yeah that's all. okay okay thank, thank you sir okay, Adva yeah, yeah. advant we will rejoin the session uh, no you yeah. don't have to rejoin again i think uh, yeah time will be over when i finish the presentations ah okay thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir okay i have i think the group number 4 one person are there others as well It's a group one. Uh, they are waiting, sir. Ah, okay. Group one is there. So then I will take them, and then I'll take you. Is it okay? Okay, sir. Okay. But I can't identify the group one. Uh, their numbers. I asked them to rename their names, but they are not renamed. That's the case. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs>
Okay, sir. Shall we leave? Do you know uh, their names? Yeah, we all. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, 18. IT 18, sir, please. Oh, so right now, in my records, the group number one, I have 1930 and 1927. 1930 is waiting, sir. Uh, do you know uh, he saw her? Oh, yeah, 1930 is there, so I will admit them. Okay, sir. Yeah, group number 1904. Maybe can you wait for more, some more time? I will take group one and come back to you. Is it okay? Nineteen zero four. Yes, sir. Okay. Huh? Group four. Okay, sir. I, I will take group one and I'll come back to you. Yes, thanks. Okay, sir. Okay. Shall we? Yeah, leave, you can. Sir? You can leave. You can leave now. We have the group one. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, so group one we have nineteen thirty. Where are the others? Nineteen thirty. What's your name? Nineteen thirty, Miss Sivatmika Sri Rangan. Mm -hmm. And nineteen twenty seven? Shaini Priya. Is she here today? Yeah, yeah. Uh, she... Shaini Priya is there. Yes, I will take him, her at, inside because she has not renamed her. She has joined, right? Ah, okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. So both of you can present. I don't need any more details about the background of this. What I need to look at is just your ER diagram and then your uh, relational model if you have. And then if you have a SQL script, that's enough for me today because we have a limited time. Hello. Ah, okay, sir. You can directly go to a ER diagram ah, if you have. Okay, sir. Good evening, sir. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes. Good evening. Yes, please. One of you can explain. Yes, I can see you. Can can one of you explain what is there? Hello, sir. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, so according to the ER diagram, um, uh, in this ER diagram, so we are uh, constructing five table and student table uh, as a primary key. Uh, and name, email, and date of birth. Also, uh, teacher have a teacher ID, email, and name, uh, national identity number, and we are maintaining teacher ID as uh, our primary key. Also, the student admission number and teacher ID have a specific mo uh, format. Uh, according to that, we are constructing uh, the password and username each of them. U username is equal, uh, uh, is depend on the uh, user type. 
so in administrator we are maintaining the uh, primary key as email uh, also an exam and subjects are there and uh, in subject uh, subject code is a uh, primary and the exam is uh, all are in uh, admission number and subject code are in foreign keys also the uh, our sql scripts is going on so in uh, in student yeah can you uh, we maintain can you go back to sql again kind of that and yeah, can and you our stru table back? structures like this yes can you go back to erp hello, hello? can you go back to er diagram please so i can't hear okay. you sir can you hear me now yes sir okay uh, can you go back to the sql sorry uh, er diagram please yes sir okay so uh, now in this particular case you have recognized maximum participation in all those cases are you specify minimum participation as well or you don't need it now for example you are recognize this relationship as one to one one to many and many to many yes sir so those are like uh, maximum participation right so that means the maximum number of uh, you know entities are participating in your relationships yes sir uh, can you represent minimum participation as yes, how do you how do you represent in your case so how do you you know represent the minimum participation minimum participation i'm just asking so you can uh, the minimum participation is that uh, so like uh, teacher and like uh, exam mm -hmm. So, have you learned about like total and partial participation in when it comes to ER? Yes, sir. Okay. So the, yes, sir. But, but I exactly asked was whether you can update this uh, considering the partial participation as well, because sometimes it's very important. Now, when you say one-to-one -one relationship, and uh, when you want to decide where to put the foreign key constraint, then uh, we will look at the. whether the relationship is uh, total participation or partial participation so maybe uh, you could uh, you know input okay. that one okay now i think we can go to sql okay. uh, sorry so in uh, student tables uh, we have uh, uh, admission number name address email and contact numbers yeah, okay. also the email uh, we uh, um, shall we give the chance to the other person because you have already explained the okay email. sir yeah. Yes. Okay, sir. Uh, this is first one is the create the table uh, database. Then after use the uh, and after this code we can. we can get the output of the student table under the under the student uh, student table there is the administration num admission number name date of birth address and contact number and the e email address these are the type of uh, next one is the type of the um, field type of for the fields and then after we can use the primary key for admission number uh, that's enough then we will move to the next one shall okay then this, these are the inputs of the uh, in, insert data after the insert data we can uh, put the select star from the student from student after this code we can get this table this table is this the our data uh, uh, data data for the four members 
admission number and their names, date of birth, address, uh, contact number, and email also. In here, um, we are using the uh, primary keys for the admission number. Admission number is the unique one, so admission number is the primary one. Next. Okay. Next, next one is the teacher. Teacher one uh, under the teacher table, uh, we are creating the teacher ID and the teacher's NIC number after the teacher's name and the email and his or her email. Uh, then after in here we are using the foreign key that uh, ad, for because the admi, uh, admit here we are using the administrator as the email. So after 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 the teacher table we are uh, we can get this table a teacher id nic number name and the email in here we are using the primary uh, primary key for the teacher id because teacher id is the unique one uh, unique one in here next Okay, next here is this. Uh, after we are inserting the data, we can get the teacher uh, table. Under the teacher's table, we can we are inserting the three IDs of the teachers and their NIC number, name, and email address. This is the teacher ID. Then we will move to the next one. Mm, this is for the subject. Uh, under the subject, there is the subject number, name, uh, t and uh, because the subject and teacher are in connecting, so connecting we are the teacher ID. Uh, after the teacher, uh, after after the subject, uh, there is the subject code name, teacher ID. My teacher ID is the foreign key, and sub here subject code is the primary key. That's all. Then after, no sir, there okay. is the slides. Okay, uh, this is the subject table. Uh, we are inserting the four subjects code and the name and the teacher ID. In here, we are uh, before the teacher teacher uh, table have the teacher ID and also the subject um, table also have the teacher ID. So we are connecting the teacher ID as the foreign key. Okay, next we will move to the uh, move to the exam table. Under the exam table, here the ta table uh, admission number uh, and uh, admission number also have the teach. Uh, student so here the student and the uh, subject also are connecting via the uh, foreign key so under the exam table there is a subject code admission number and the time uh, here we are connecting those uh, subject code and admission number um, through the for foreign key then after Okay, this is the uh, table for the exams. We are inserting those data. After the inserting, we can get this table with subject code, admission number, and the time. No, yeah. Sorry, sir. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Then, shall we move to the next slide? Yes, you can go to the next one. Shall yes. Ah, okay. okay. Okay, then the final one is the administrator uh, one. Administrator one have the email, username and password. In here, email is the primary key. Mm, and after, the, after inserting the data, we can get this uh, uh, table with email ID and the username and the password. Okay. Uh, so okay, next one is the... Okay, sir. This this is the enough. It is enough, sir. Yeah, that's it. That's enough. I I would like to know another thing. Now, for example, okay, now in in your case, the passwords. How do you store the passwords? Oh. 
what is the strategy that you have used to store the password? Maybe you can go to the administrator table definition. Yes, sir. So this is the administration definition, sir. Yes, yes. Then you are creating Vacha. So, but yes, when it comes to data, now it's a scramble, right? Is the actual password, or is it like yes. encrypted? Yes, no, this is not actual. This is an encryption. Encrypted. Yes. Okay. So, how? What is the algorithm that we have used to encrypt the password? So we uh, actually, you know, we didn't, uh, uh, we didn't come. Complete this one. Just we uh, uh, sketch the ideas and the uh, pr primary level finishing. <laughs> we want to. Uh, we want to. Uh, uh, we want to uh, finish and uh, starting these sessions. Okay. Right. Okay. I understand. So I think uh, that's enough. I think uh, no, 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 another another thing I want to ask, like in foreign keys, like uh, what if if uh, someone deleted a, a particular record in a table, how it affects the other table? Now there are foreign keys that you have created. That means the table relations. What might happen if uh, someone delete a record in a yes. one table? How it affect to the other table? It, in, in your uh, SQL script, according to what you have done there? So once uh, one record is uh, deleted, so the uh, related to the primary key, key, it will automatically deleted in re the related other tables also. So because this relational database. Yeah, I understand. So that's called cascading, but there are other <laughs> like restrict or like update, right? So, um, you know, okay. in your case, so where do you like put that information? So how do you make sure that, uh, you know, when you delete, when someone deletes a record, the relevant other records are also deleted from the table. Like, how do you yes. make sure that okay. it happen? If, uh, if update the table and uh, retrieve another query, Mm. No, no, actually what you should be doing is like in the table definition itself, when you're updating, you can talk about on update and on delete, you can specify whether to restrict it, whether to cascade it, you know, there are like ways that you can specify it in a script itself. So just think about it. Uh, maybe you could update that, uh, you know, part. And thanks, I think that's enough. Uh, let's move on to the group number four. Um, can some of you uh, take the, uh... yes, I think you can leave now. We have 1904 and Okay, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Ah, you okay. can hear. So, shall we start? There's another member, right, in your group, 1937? Right, sir. He's joining, sir. Ah, okay. Sir, okay. his connection is disconnected. Ah, okay. He's joining. Right. Anyway, so we'll wait. Okay. Uh, so, what I need to know is actually the progress. Just to, I just, I would like to see your uh, 
any conceptual models that you have created like the diagram and also the SQL. Uh, yes sir so we did uh, we did some uh, er diagram and all, already we are developed our database and system i okay. think uh, we did. Uh, can i share my screen sir yeah yeah you can share i just want to see the progress so you can share me your uh, the conceptual model that you have developed as well as the details so did you see the powerpoint presentation yes yes i can see okay sir uh, it's uh, so not the powerpoint are... i can see the the That's database good. interface yeah okay sir uh, we are main we are developing as a distributor management system for dn distributor company called dn distributor their main product is coca cola hello sir yeah i can hear you okay okay sir. uh they have we got uh, their main modules uh, they have uh, custom management territory management employee management administrator management payment management product management and report management module uh, sir, it is locked but he is waiting room sir uh, okay i will check uh, you see with the name or with the registration number so that's a problem with the, with the name i can't find them what is his name ajit tanagamman ajit ajit tanagamman sir all right he is there yes i will connect him hello yes go ahead okay oh, so this is the one main modules that you are looking in the uh, the system uh, custom management and outlet management are developing chintaka and territory management and employee management is developing the ajit mr ajit and uh, payment management and admin management module developing i'm i'm developing uh, those modules okay uh, so so we are uh, already developed our uh, database can i view in database yes 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 definitely okay, yes sir. yes please okay. this our this our the database sir i i can't see the screen yeah. maybe you have to switch ah okay sir i'll see the presentation do you look here Okay. You have to share uh, the video. Sir, this is our database. Uh, I will explain one by one, sir. Yeah, yeah, no problem. You can go ahead. Okay. Uh, you don't uh, have to uh, de uh, describe detail because we have a limited time till two ten. We have ten. Ah, okay, sir. Okay, sir. I will, I will so briefly, yes, very briefly. Okay, yeah. okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, this is the admin uh, use account table. It, this first table is a use account table. Uh, This is our user account table. We are storing uh, user password and user confirm password as a uh, MD uh, MD5 format, uh, encrypted format. And we are maintaining the user uh, role table uh, because uh, using that we are uh, limiting the our uh, uh, menus sir, uh, because administrator have full privileges of the system and manager have. next level and clerk and territory sir these are the our main roles in the system uh, and this is the our chain uh, because uh, our uh, our project is a distributed management system and they have uh, main target is distributor distributor uh, selling product for the uh, outlets and uh, some some customers have uh, more than one outlets then we are uh, allocating that uh outlets to chain then we can get uh, one uh, uh each customer uh, separate outlets this is that uh, this is our uh, customer registration table those uh, customer details are uh, registering in this table and they have outlet chain tables uh, uh and also we have a outlet registration table this include the all the outlet uh, details like uh 
outlet outlet registration table and customer registration table is uh, both are link link together using uh, parent child relationship and also have they have some vat registration table because some uh, some outlets are uh, registered for the vat so that is effect to the payment module uh, and also uh, they have area registration because uh, both outlet outlets we have to separate separate from the uh, area wise and also have company staff detail table they have uh, separate uh, uh, record for each staff member and also have uh, employee area registration table this table is uh, used for uh, territory officer uh, uh, which uh, which area is uh, managing which uh, employee so that's why uh, we are taking this table and also we are maintaining bank and branch detail table because they have payment uh, module so we are collecting uh, payments uh, uh, cash and check so we are maintaining the bank and uh, branch detail tables okay, and also okay. can uh, you go to that branch detail uh, the table because i can't see the table details if possible ah okay yeah okay, sir. we have to oh, they have a parent child relationship uh, between uh, bank code to the uh, branch table this is the relationship mm. and also that, have that, that that's enough for the detail why i think it's a very detailed one can you also explain like some uh, constraints that you have make like foreign key details any uh, constraint in data yes sir uh, if uh, there uh, another thing is we are not uh, deleting any records in the database sir. we are only maintain the status active and deactive because some date uh, because we have to maintain all the records in archive we, we are not completely not deleting the uh, records from the database sir. okay and all the um, uh, all the tables have relationship uh, i can i get some example yes. uh, outlet outlet table and outlet registration table and outlet chain registration they have uh, relationship between outlet number and uh, outlet registration number to the outlet uh, chain table so there are uh, in my sql there are no relationship i am we are maintaining both relationship using the php joining because uh, because sir, we are not uh, deleting any record from the database and one thing did yeah, uh, yes angam hello uh, yeah, yeah. I, sir uh, we we generate all report using uh, Tables and also we are making the views, sir. views, uh, generate the views and generate the report. Reports. Okay. We are trying to maintain some PDF reports and other things. Still developing that one. Uh, I think we are almost seventy percent. Uh, yeah, this okay. product uh, project is done, sir. Yes. So when you talk about the views, can you update the views? Yes. Sorry, yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. No sir, no, um, uh, no, no, only for view, because uh, uh, that payment table they have they are uh, have four tables for uh, invoice table invoice purpose. So we are making uh, some view for that sir. receipt generation and invoice making. Okay, so when it comes to now only uh, those like you you mentioned like uh, you are not yes, going to need any record. In that particular case, how do you handle? Like, let's say you you want to remove some record from a table. Yeah. So how do you handle that? The foreign yeah. relationship with no, other sir. tables. Yes, sir. We are always maintaining the no. In our system, they have delete method, but we are not deleting actual record from the oh. database. Only we are maintaining status active and deactive because yeah. otherwise users can. Uh, remove some uh, usual, uh, usual data. So we are maintaining only status. We are maintaining status, active and deactive. One, one and zero. Yeah, so I one, understand that the status thing now, uh, when it comes to uh, oh, yes. foreign key, uh, maintaining foreign key constraints. So how do you handle this yes, status there? Sorry, sir? No, I mean, when it comes to foreign I key. I can't clear. 
now when it comes to foreign yes, friends like when you have relations let's say you make yeah. changes in one table how do you populate that change mm-hmm. the other table now there are very many ways no uh, uh, actually about like you can restrict until uh, the all the changes are done in the the connected table or else you can cascade yes, or you yes, can, you know delete right so yeah. in your case you are going to keep everything in the system yeah. so my question is like yeah. how do you handle that situation because sir, sir there are no conflict between we are we are not maintaining in uh, relationship with we are maintaining the foreign key relationship but we are not joining the tables but consensus consensus we are maintaining in the php side ah okay 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 so everything is handled in a php side not in the database side yeah ah, okay. php side yeah yeah, yeah. but they have relationship they have you can see that sir they are have in branch table they have bank code that bank code code is relate to the uh, bank uh, bank detail table and okay. also they have the uh, relationship between uh, outlerization and virtualization table in virtualization table they are linked to the customization detail number and outlerization detail number but they have join join but all the tables are in separate we are maintaining all the things in php sites okay now i understand because sir, there are we are always maintaining the unique key so we can't we are not maintaining that keys in the uh, front end that is only used for the back end only in the database sites hmm. so what is the more so that i think that like is not effect to the yeah. so yeah the then the then the problem is like if you are going to handle in the front end side meaning like uh, through uh, php and all yes so will not that uh, yes. you know affects the performance of your database if you have millions of records yes sir i think yeah i think i think uh, i don't know i we are i am doing some <laughs> around two three years uh, web development okay. sir Uh, uh more joining means sir uh, there are in more records then there are have some slow so lot of time we are maintain if we can maintain the joining in the php side and we can maintain the views for the reports then we can uh, increase our performance of the systems okay thanks. and also uh, i will ex- i don't know so you can give some idea no 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 no, no but no. sir we have maintained our for relationship yeah yeah and the my my point was there is to just to because sir, my my question yes sir they have uh, income uh, staff detail table they have unique unique uh, unique employee number mm-hmm. but that unique employee number not joining for the all the tables they are have auto increment unique key that is the that key is joining for the other tables but we can change the employee if we can i want to change the 100 to 101 we can change from the system but that unique key is not changed because that one is the joining other tables okay. so i think we can not maintain the relationship between sir in the mysql side so we are always maintain the php side okay i think that's uh, enough for this. this is just to see the progress i think uh, Yes, you have done a lot compared to the other groups. Uh, so let's finish, and then I'll uh, yeah. stop with the group. So that's all for today for your group, guys.